Athlone, Standard Time, AM Radio, and Basketball, all of them Canadian inventions. The Skidoo, the Blender, and Ginger Ale, all made with genuine Canadian know-how. Now today, we're going to meet a group of junior inventors, the next generation, and find out from them what makes great inventions. of the next generation of great inventors. Your task today is to reveal to me, Dr. Rotten, the process of invention, the formula, if you will, so I may try and make a device so great and powerful that I could take over the world. Oh, sorry, Dr. Rotten. We only invent things that can help people. Oh, good for you. I guess one of those will have to do. Why don't we begin by removing our sunglasses and revealing the first step of inventing? Well, first, Dr. Rotten, you have to figure out what you're going to invent. I invented the snack smacker because I kept thinking, if only I had a better place to keep my popcorn and drinks when I'm at the movies. Inventions are often just solutions to problems you face every day. Try to finish the sentence, if only I had. It's a good way to come up with inventions. Hmm, if only I had a device that would let me take over the world. Dr. Rotten, we already told you we only invent things that are helpful. Okay then, what's the next step? Next, take your idea and put it on some paper. Make some thumbnail sketches of it. Oh, yes, thumbnail sketches. I'm beginning to understand. You keep the drawings very, very small so no one can steal them, yes. No, Dr. Rotten, you draw them on regular-sized paper. When I invented the ultimate organizer to help organize my locker, I used thumbnail sketches to try out different ways that the ultimate organizer could look. They're just rough sketches, doodles, really. After thumbnail sketches, I did some research. I invented the hairspray mask to help stop getting hairspray in my eyes and face. First, I looked at the competition to see how my invention was different. Then I asked possible customers what they thought of my idea. What features did they like best? Would they use it? Show of hands, people. If me and Tiny Me were to take over the world, what kind of device would we use? Would we use a laser beam? Huh? Huh? No? A mind meld? A uh, human farm, perhaps? No? Okay, I know you don't like all of these ideas, but they are original, and I do know they're selling features, okay? So what's next? Now it's time to start building a model of your invention. When I invented the fish feeder, I had to figure out what was the best material to make it out of. I chose plastic. I think my invention will be made out of gold. Solid gold. Nothing but gold. <laughs> well, Dr. Martin, I don't think that's such a good idea. Why not? Because it would be too expensive and less people could afford to buy it. Well, can I make it out of plastic then? Yes. Okay, good. I'll make it out of plastic. Solid plastic. Nothing but plastic. <laughs> You also need to make scale drawings. You use these drawings to build your prototype. Ah, yes, the prototype! What exactly is the prototype? That's the first model of your invention. The prototype for my Ultima 3-in-1 was made out of separate pieces. The finished product will have one piece that allows you to cream, scrub, and scratch your back with it. Now take your prototype, test it out on people, and see what they think. And now, don't tell me, it's time for Dr. Rotten's finest hour. That's right, it's time to build a final product and get ready to display it. I invented the MD cap so people will have a safe place to keep their MD Walkman when they're listening to it. However, before I showed it, I made sure I filled in a patent form for my invention. Patents are important because they protect your idea and stop other people from copying it. Now you're ready to present it to the world. It's something like the Invention Convention. Ah, yes, the Invention Convention. And take a look at some of the great stuff that's been made there in past years. The incredible Fuzzy Wuzzy Pencil Case. The amazing Dish Doctor. The Pen Maker Made. The skateboard made for ice. Eureka! At last, the invention process is finally mine, and I can begin my plan to 
take over the world. Dr. Ron, that's not why we invent. Didn't you hear us? Didn't you hear us? Didn't you hear us? I was in the weirdest place. So, well, you were there, and you were there, and you were there, and we were all there, and we were talking about inventions and how you can pull ideas from almost anywhere. And oh, if only I had a headache remover. Just like the headache remover, two thousand. Exactly. Thanks, Jennifer. Oh. Inventions are necessary stuff. Woo! <laughs> to become a junior inventor good for you well here's dr rotten's formula for success first ask yourself what will i invent then make some thumbnail sketches of your idea on paper not on your fingers do some research yes find out what others will think of it next decide what materials you'll use and do some scale drawings of it oh now you're ready to do your prototype and then finally, it's time to build your invention. Make sure you get a patent. Those are very important. And then you can present your idea to the world. Hey, going somewhere? Hold on. You can't miss today's make. Coming up right after What's This Stuff.